Hello everybody, Manthrow here and welcome to the OSRS weekly update video. Now this week we have a new quest, uh, I believe. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is quest, sorry. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the quest is from Gordon and Mary. They are two small town farmers with a big problem. So some heinous beastie keeps taking their livestock. Uh, luckily, they've hit upon a solution. They just need some brave adventure to venture into the creature's lair and maybe get rid of it. So there's not too much more to really enlist about that other for the details. However, I will go over the requirements and rewards. And let's see if I can do at least with the requirements. Requirements. Yes, I will do the requirements and then at the end of the video I will reveal the rewards this way. There's no spoilers for those who don't want it The requirements are 30 crafting 26 construction and the ability to defeat a level 82 monster So that is something to keep in mind There is poll 73 updates desert achievement diary. Uh, they've changed the achievement diary completion tier require, uh, required to get permanent ropes at the entrance to and inside of the Calphite layer from elite down to hard. So that should save a little bit on your inventory a little bit sooner. Uh, don't worry, there is more poll 73 coming up and don't worry, there is actually another current poll for a blog or just a blog in general going around for the combat achievement diary. So you don't forget to check that out. Leagues 2 has some changes again as well. Uh, any reach X total level tasks which failed to complete previously will now be uh, completed by opening the task interface provided you have the correct levels of course to do so. The task collect resources from Melissa while at 100% favor is now completing correctly. Uh, players who've unlocked Mauritania can now bre uh, make breadcrumbs if you're missing the ability. Open your task interface to acquire it. The message which triggers upon failing to defeat five uh, Vorkath five times without taking special damage will now only appear if you have yet to complete the task. In addition, the description of the task now specifies that it must be five times in a row. So it's not just five times, it's five times in a row. <laughs> That's a big deal. That's a big difference. The task to complete 200 Slayer tasks is now completable. For those of you eligible, will complete it upon finishing your next Slayer task. So if you're on 201, you'll get it then. Uh, according to clue to dig west of the site of the Lizardman Canyon. Uh, oh, has been removed. So this is just for Trailblazer though. The fade out effect when entering a God Wars dungeon instance is now much quicker. The doors to the instance boss rooms in the God Wars dungeon no longer animate. Uh, lastly, uh, last week, they silently resolved a bug that allowed players with Fairy's Flight to teleport above level 30 wilderness, following the feedback that they have received and the bug fixes in place. Uh, the effects of Teleblock spell will pr still prevent people from teleporting. Uh, legs to, uh, yeah, legs. Leagues 2 Trailblazer rankings. Uh, so the end of Leagues 2 Trailblazer is fast approaching. There's about a month yet to go, though, so don't get too excited. Uh, so it's a great time to check out the rankings and take stock of how well you're doing. Uh, are you going for the Dragon Trophy, Bronze? You know, where are you at? Uh, the Bronze is 100, Iron 540, Steel 270, well, 2070. Mithril is 5,840, Adamant is 15,330, Rune is 26,130, and Dragon is 37,340. Don't forget to check out the Dr Golden Gnomes winner recap. Absolutely a fantastic thing, and congratulations to all those who have won. I'm really happy for everybody <coughs> who, you know, won, participated, etc. You know, everybody should be proud of what they do. Merch store update. Don't forget to check out your merch store. There is also the Black Friday deal, so don't forget to check it out. As well as look at some of these pins. They actually kind of glow in the dark. That is pretty sweet, if you ask me. And there's actually pin sets now. You can get the prayer pin set and the Elysian... Well, I call them the Elysian Shields, but it's actually the Spirit Shields uh, right here that also have some parts that will glow in the dark for you. So do check those out. 
and you also get a free black armadillo god sword key ring while supplies last if you spend 30 pounds 50 dollars us or more and if you spend 80 pounds or 100 dollars us you also get free track shipping so do check that out in other news the world rota is switching over to period b on the east atlantic the host for the standard pvp world world 325 uk the free to play pvp world 371 uk and the target world 318 uk and west of the atlantic the hosts are target worlds 319 usa and the high risk pvp world 337 usa in addition to the members last man standing worlds which are set aside for the prime plays event uh, have been reinstated the chambers of Zarek party board will now be remember the last option set by the party leader the 100k gp fee should now be paid out on death in the Revenant's Cave on PvP World, key transfers should once again work in the Revenant's Cave on World 45. Fix an issue where Sanguistin's staff was healing even when attacking Splashed. Uh, a typo has been fixed in the description of the Beekeeper Top. Uh, the hand displayed when operating Oaknax machines in the Eyes of the Glaufrey now match your character's skin tone. Not a big thing, but hey, for immersion, right? Anyway, that is actually it for today's video, so thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, later guys.